the biblical truth of our hymns. And it's ridiculous that we've got to spend time on this one. But it's in the hymnal. Completely unbiblical. And though this hymnal gives a King James verse reference, and we declare unto you glad tidings, Acts 13.32, of a hymnal that quotes, gives quotes from NIVs, KJV, all other the modern Bibles. But today, the biblical truth of our hymns presents to you, we wish you a merry Christ Mass. And I did not say it improperly. I said to the fact, Merry Christ Mass. Of happy birthday, happy 4th of July, happy Labor Day, happy New Year, happy anniversary. We come upon one time of the year happy hanukkah but we come to a time of year of december 25th of mary christ mass let's look at the dictionary before 1150 middle english christ mass e c-r-i-s-t m-a-s-s-e old english Christies, C R I S T E S, Messies, M A and E combined, S S E, meaning Mass of Christ. Let's put Christ back in Christmas. You mean eating him? And drinking him? You foolish Christians! You talk without knowing the Bible. You're ignorant. Because when you try to put Christ back into Christmas, you're putting Christ on an altar where people eat and drink his little body. You need to repent and get right with God before you find a judge and burned at the judgment seat of Christ. Again, Old English, Christies, Messiah, the mass of Christ. What's the dictionary say? It's the celebration of the Eucharist. You cannot look up Christmas in the Bible. It's not in the King James 1611 Bible. It may be in other martyr puke Bibles. I don't know. I'm not even going to bother to look it up. But when the dictionary, the dictionary is a great source of learning about words. And the dictionary beholds to us the Mass of Christ, the celebration of Eucharist, and you foolish Christians say, Let's put Christ back in Christ Mass. It's heathen, it's devilish, it's wicked, and God says uh, before the law, during the law, and after the law, no man is to eat and drink blood. You do know what the Mass is, both Protestant and Catholic. That wine becomes the literal body and blood of Jesus. Grab your fork, grab your spoon, grab your knife and your straw and start dining on a Jewish man, Revelation chapter 12. Where Satan's ready, the devil's ready to devour that Jewish child. Too bad you don't open up your Bible and study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of the truth. I am not ashamed of the season taking Christmas and throwing it into the garbage can and burning it in the incinerator. We wish you a merry, let's eat God. Let's drink God in the hymnal of a Christian. Now I'm doing this because if it's in the hymnal, it's probably sung in churches. We wish you a merry... Christ Mass is an English folk song, song from the 1500s. King James Bible came to you 1600. So they would be under the Geneva Bible. The Blood of the Martyrs Bible. The same Bible that came across the Atlantic Ocean into Massachusetts in the New World. 
And it was a remnant of the time when poor carolers would hit up wealthy listeners for handouts. <laughs> Almost like when you, when you open up and read or watch or listen to the story of the Christmas carol, as those kids are going around singing carols for them, to, and they won't stop singing until they get money. Or did they meet Ebenezer Scrooge? We wish you a Merry Christ Mass so we can get money. And all English carols go, they are very few which mention the new year coming a week after Christmas. This will talk about Happy New Year. This is interesting because mostly because January 1st was not considered new New Year in the Western world until the 1700s. So in light of the history, and a happy new year was light, was added much later. So you got an addition to the carol. The tradition of the carols were brought about because of a ban in the churches during the Middle Ages. There was a time during the Middle Ages that the carols were not sung. Churchgoers then go together and went from door to door singing to keep the traditional songs alive. Well, in the book of Acts, they went door to door with the gospel of Jesus Christ. They went door to door with the doctrine of Jesus Christ. I can't see Peter going door to door saying, we wish you a Merry Christ Mass. We wish you a Merry Christ Mass. And the three wise men came together. I can't picture Peter doing that because it would be a lie. So we got Merry Christ Mass, or you can do what I do. How about this? Ready? Happy Holiday. You know what Holiday is? Holiday. It's holy with a Y changed to I with days. Holy days. But then along comes the church and changes it to Merry Christ Mass, which is unholy. It's baloney. Happy holidays. Well, that goes with happy birthday, happy new year, happy 4th of July, happy Mother's Day, happy Father's Day, happy Labor Day, happy Halloween. Even Satan's birthday is called happy. But when you come to the December 25th of Tammuz being born of the booby god is called Istar, we run into a realm of just falseness. So, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Three times? You keep saying it, maybe they'll throw the money out the window and you, you, they'll go away. Be a song of ignore, uh, you know, uh, uh, drive me crazy. Get out of here. Take a shilling. But notice how it said three times, <laughs> a trinity form. Satan, the father, the false prophet, and the antichrist. They'll have a mass. They will be killing Jews and drinking and eating their bodies in the tribulation period, and a happy new year that was added later. Glad tidings. Now that's gospel. Gospel means good news. We bring to you your kin, your family, glad tidings of Christ Mass and a happy new year. You're not going to get good news from Christ Mass. Have you ever opened a box of mass wafers have you ever looked at the ingredients of mass wafers does it say jesus christ or does it say enriched flour sugar or other things i like to see i like to see the packaging of the mass wafers i like to see the the ingredients of the wine that the catholics and the protestants use at the mass i want to see the ingredients because instead of grapes it should say jesus and it won't We sing you the Christ Mass blessings, great joy. Now we, into January when you get the bills, 
Now we are confessing best wishes to you, addressing for a happy new Confessing? No, you're not confessing sins? We're confessing with best wishes of the new year. That's not going to get you to heaven. Confessing your sins and being sorry for your sins. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. God is not going to allow us into heaven. God is not going to be pleased. I confess to you, happy new. What kind of nonsense, stupid thing is that to say? I confess to you, happy birthday. Nonsense. The pull. May God's grace and peace be with you. Not without Jesus Christ, it won't. God hates the sin and loves the sinner. <gasps> you got to have more love. You ain't going to have it without Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is not in Christmas. The only way Christ is in Christmas is an artificial Christ that you devour with your mouth. I receive Jesus Christ by faith. I don't receive Jesus Christ orally. May God's grace and peace be with you, not without Jesus Christ. May God's grace and peace be with you. May God's grace and peace be with you. Come on, man. This sounds like this modern crap. Seven words 400 times. It, it, it was said... Uh, where did I say here? Traditions 1500s. In the 1500s, they were coming up with with this modern uh, junk of contemporary Christian music. We praise thee. 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 Blast the pate. We praise thee. We praise thee. Nonsense. Put little drums to it. God's grace and peace be with you throughout the new year. Again, that was added. There was no celebration in the new year. So, that's it. That's a very short one today. Definitely, I throw this one out. Christians, you've got to learn Christ is not in Christ's Mass. If he's in Christmas, <coughs> He's in the Catholic Protestant Church and they're dining on Jesus. It's that plain and simple. When a Christian partakes of the Lord's Supper or the communion of Christ, it is a piece of bread, it is wine or grape juice, new wine, and symbolic of Jesus is the, is the bread of life. It is symbolic of the wine to be a type of blood not the actual body not the actual blood of jesus christ flesh and blood blood out of uh john chapter six prophets nothing let me go let's just go there we gotta get some bible we'll get some bible can't have a bible lesson without a bible let's read where the where uh john chapter six let's read where the catholics stop I mean, they go into John chapter 6 with their forks and their knives, and they're salivating. Ah, oh, the body of Jesus. Yum, 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 yum. But John 6, 63. Let's look at that. Let's see what Jesus said about you eating Jesus. It is the spirit that quickeneth. John chapter 3. Must be born again. The flesh profiteth nothing you can have the literal body of jesus you can have the literal blood of jesus it ain't gonna do you no good you'll be a cannibal the words words are not unless it's a cold day words are spirit the words that i speak spirit unto you they are spirit and they are life not the body and blood. So let's go to Revelation chapter 12. Let's do some more scriptures. Let's do some more scriptures. And I'm going to tell you right now, you listen to this video. You listen to this audio. And you hear me say, putting Christ back in Christ's mass is wrong. 
You are now have heard the word of God. You are now liable and you must repent of your sins or it will show up as loss at the judgment seat of Christ. Christ was never in, what did I say? What did I say? Christmas showed, uh, Christmas 1150. Before 1150 AD. Christ was around long before 1150 AD. He was there before the heavens and earth, Genesis 1 1. Of course, some of you don't believe that. So let's look at Revelation 12, verse 3. Let's get into scripture here. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. So let's look at who this who this being is, verse 9. Jump down to verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent, Genesis 3, called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world to think, let's put Christ in Christmas. You have been deceived by Satan, Christian. John 8, 44, it says Satan's a liar. See bumper stickers on that. Put Christ back in Christmas. He was never there. <laughs> have a nice day. I know you hate me. You hate me, you know, you hate the word of God. I'm just trying to teach you what's right. Say it with me now, ready? Mary Christ Mass. And what did I tell you to dict go look at your own dictionary? Go look at your own dictionary if you don't believe me. The whole world. He was cast into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So Satan has angels. Verse 4. Back to verse 4. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Uh, let's see, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo, maybe those stars? I don't know. And did cast them to the earth. Oh, my stars. My lucky stars. Hey, the city of the stars, maybe. I don't know. And we looking at Satan, but let's go back to verse 1 now. Go away from Satan for a minute. And there appeared a, a great wonder in heaven. There's a lot of wonders in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun. Catholics picture this as Mary. Mm -hmm. The moon under her feet. Look up Mary, M-A-R-Y, in Google Images or whatever you use for an internet browser. Look under images for Mary and moon. And you will see this picture of Mary and the moon. And upon her head a crown of 12 stars. I can't read my writing here. I write terrible. Genesis 37 9. I can't read my writing. Through. Genesis 37. We'll find it. It's not Catholic. And I'm sick and tired of that church putting their garbage into the Bible. I'm not mad at Catholics. I'm mad at the Catholics. The organization. The Pope on the dopey rope. This nonsense. E plumis urum. And, oh, if you don't be part of the mother church, you're, oh, I'm part of Jesus Christ. Why don't you guys shut up? You can't keep your priest away from little boys. Shut up! All right, back to studying. Genesis 37. I get so angry with those kids. I grew up a Roman Catholic. Most of my family are in hell today believing that garbage. You ought to be angry, sin not. I'm not sinning. I'm angry, but I'm not sinning. You wait till Christ comes back and gets them. Mystery Babylon. Oh, I'm falling. Falling. And he, uh, Genesis 37, 9. This is Joseph. And he dreamed yet another dream and told his brethren, 11 brothers, a dream more. Behold, I have a dream of more. And behold, the sun, Revelation 12, and the moon, Revelation 12, and the 11 stars, Revelation 12, 11 stars. He's got 11 brothers. Made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren, and his father rebuked him and said unto him, Okay, here, ready? What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Sun, moon, eleven stars. Shall I 
and thy mother and thy brethren shall I the sun shall thy mother the moon and thy brother the twelve the eleven stars there it is that reference applies to the children of Israel not the church it's Jewish verse 2 of chapter 12 of Revelation this woman is a Jewish woman scripture with scripture Let's see what happened. He said, why are you reading this? And she bring forth a child. She, being with child, she's pregnant, cried and travail in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon. That's Satan. That's the devil. That's the old serpent. Having seven heads, ten horns, and seven crowns upon her head. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. That's his angels. And the, day, and the devil stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, a Jewish woman ready to give birth to a Jewish child. Now some say it's Christ. I don't know who this child is. For to devour her child as soon as it was born. That is a Jewish child ready to be born and the devil wants to eat that child. What is the, the preview of what is the coming attractions of Satan wanting to eat a Jewish child? It's called the Mass. And Jesus Christ was never involved in Christmas or Christ's Mass. It's Satan. That's what the Bible. You got a problem? You take it up with God. You can blame me. That's okay. But when Jesus approached Paul and said, why persecute thou me? Paul didn't persecute Jesus. He persecuted the Christians. And Jesus Christ took it quite personally. Now you say, oh, Sal, you're a hot head, you're angry. You better believe I'm angry. You know how I many people go into hell daily believing this nonsense? And many of them don't even go to church, but maybe twice, if not even at all. Like the name Catholic will save you. Well, there is no other name given to the monks men whereby you must be saved. And that name is Jesus Christ. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's never a religion. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Throw that church into hell, that organization into hell. Now, there are Catholics that are saved. And there are Catholics that are not saved. And there are Catholics who have been deceived by that church and will never get saved. And I have seen Catholics come out of that church and got saved and are saved. But that organization, I get angry with it. It's of the devil. Christ has a church. So does Satan. And that church has sisters. So, here we go. I wish you a happy holiday. I don't wish you a Merry Christ Mass. Have a good day.